Hi everyone, uh, this is Faiza. Welcome to my channel. And uh, if you are not new, then welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am here with yet another Timo haul, and uh, we'll just. Uh, I just wanted to share what I bought this time. Uh, this time it's mainly uh, beads and uh, some supplies related to beading and jewelry making also uh, for some bubble pens that uh, that were left and I thought I might just uh, finish them off as well so I bought some charms to go with them so without any delay I'll start on the haul so the first thing that I want to share with you is uh, the storage box and the storage box came uh, fairly packed so I don't, didn't really have any problems or issues with it. I haven't really opened it and checked it thoroughly, but apparently it seems that there's nothing wrong with it. So it's like a three-tire uh, storage box. And I thought it would be a good idea for me to put my beading collection into one space. And as you can see, each tire is cut like separately. You can separately uh, pack it, yep. Yeah. And uh, each tire has six little sections, and they are actually uh, removable, so you can take the discs out to make room for like uh, bigger bead collections. This is actually really good, very nice, very nice uh, size because I think I can store my. Uh, the small and big beads into these the, the beads that have uh, that I have bought and they didn't come in any kind of storage cases uh, they can definitely go into these so it has uh, one two three stories and each story is I think each part is the same thing and quite nicely uh, partitioned the only thing uh, that I can see from here is if I can take this off and I can show you on this one is uh, the the dividers they are not really they're not like completely uh, segregating the beads so I think for really small findings in beads it would be a really good idea not to have them in these so some bigger uh, sort of bead sizes can definitely go in there but for smaller beads, I think it, it would be uh, not really a good idea, especially if you're trying to separate them uh, according to the sizes. But this is actually a really good uh, uh, buy. I would definitely put the prices up so you can have a look. Uh, as always, uh, the haul from Timo, this is uh, not really sponsored by it all. The prices have been, I have paid them for myself and uh, I have done all these purchases from my own pocket. Uh, the new has not really sponsored for anything. Okay, so might be a little bit of a, there. Okay, so, and it's got a handle so it's easy to carry along. The second thing that I would like to share is a jewelry making kit that I got because I was looking for some pearls and when I came across this kit I thought this is a really good comprehensive everything is well put together uh, and it's got two different sizes of uh, pearls white pearls as well as letters and uh, also I think it has some hoop earrings I'll open it all up and you can have a look Together. So the case comes with its own elastic wire. So you get sorry, <laughs> you get some elasticated wire, the nylon the nylon wire. So the jewelry case is literally full and uh, it's got two different sizes of pearls oh look there's an odd one in there as well oops a daisy uh, it's like a cross so 
so they were I think that's the only one on top the rest are all like uh, yeah they're all the same sizes and same shape so this is a pearl jewelry kit so I was just trying to show the two different sizes of the pearls as well as the letter beads these are really beautiful they are like this really small but I have like a gold inscription of it on them so I think that'll be fun to make I'm planning to make some bracelets as well as some uh, phone charms uh, to put in my Etsy shop I'll get I'll share the link of my Etsy shop and uh, I'll show them all to so, you. Yeah. These are just some spacers, some gold beads. There's two sizes of gold beads. And then they also have these uh, earring hoops. Like that. Very pretty, very beautiful. So you can make uh, some lovely beady jewelry you can make a kit like a bracelet with earrings uh, that's also a really good idea and uh, I think yeah and they have some loop earring bindings too yep. so we can have loads of fun making these The next item that I purchased was bring a card. These are mentioned as teachers' charms. I thought they were beautiful, so I am going to make some keychains that I can use next time uh, in uh, like next end of time end of term really cool there's like a book there's protractor and compasses and there's like an ink pen and this one says T number one teacher it's really nice so you got I think you have two of each so this is like a geometry set rulers there's apples and hearts, heart-shaped apples. This is a splodge. <laughs> I don't really think that is a charm. I think that was just something extra. But apart from that, if you look at it, it's all really beautiful. So there's like two of each, I think. Yes, there are. There is two of each. So two books. They have uh, two laptops, two open book charms, two heart-shaped ones. Two apples color, two apples silver. So these are really nice. Okay. I love collecting small things like that. I also got uh, some silver findings. I had the gold ones. So I bought a set of silver findings and uh, it's got jump rings actually. This is just the jump ring kit. Uh, last time when I got it, I, I'm not sure whether I got that one from Amazon or the same place here. But actually all of the jump rings were intact. But <laughs> this time they have given me uh, an empty case with all the jump rings uh, separately packed. Uh, very kind of them and it's like uh, you have to sort them out yourself so you just put everything in there and then your thing is sorted i i would like to keep it like that because it's a really good very convenient storage box i really enjoy making my things when i have these things all sorted because then i i don't really have to um, say 
rummage for or you know waste my time putting them into the sizes or finding two of the same sizes so it's it just gets easy for me to just grab things that I need from here and then get on with it Oh, it's not going to take very long if you just bear with me. So they're very easy to open. You can see that it's not difficult at all. You just open the flap and you can take your jump ring whichever size you want. Just make sure that you don't have two open at the same time. It's just going to cause problem because it can mix your jump rings. And then you will have to spend ages just to separate them again. I think I have one loose small jump ring. So I'm just going to put that in. <coughs> yep. I'm not really sure what size these jump rings are. It might be written on the description uh, for the product as to what size jump rings you are getting. So for future reference, uh, I will find that out and I'll just mark the top lid with that number. So next time when I'm looking for a particular number, I, uh, I know where to get it. But these are really good sizes, very useful. I have used them before in my key rings and uh, the long, the big ones are quite good for making uh, longer gaps between the key rings and uh, the shorter one you can actually make small chains. So it's really good, very clean, very good purchase and uh, then you can store your I'm oh, sorry yeah this is basically the jump ring opener so this they sell with pretty much every jump ring kit so I have one from the gold one and one here and I think there is another one in one one more kit that had different sorts of jump rings and findings right let's go with some charms first these are the smaller items, so we can quickly finish those. Uh, I got some stones, natural stone beads. Let me just throw the rubbish. And then we can come back to that. So I got some uh, alabaster, 5 to 8 millimeters. So these are some just... Uh, Variated semi precious stones. I think that's what they're called. I just like the shape of them, and uh, I think they look really cool in uh, either in jewelries or keychains. So these are just plain white ones. There is a crystal one there as well, but mainly they are just uh, different shaped white ones yep and i also got because i think white is the color that you use a lot anyway so i got that as separately and i got a kit with all these natural color stones. Sorry for the huge noise. And it's really cute the way the kit has been put together. It comes uh, again. Uh, oh, actually, uh, yeah, it is elastic. So it comes with a clear elastic thread. And it's 0.8 millimeters. And it comes with a really cute scissor. And I think I will keep the scissor in my beading uh, travel bag. 
that I am going to make. And these are the colored stones that I got. Let me just show you on this piece of paper. So this one's got like a mix of, these are the brown ones. Then there is beautiful emerald color. Very rich green color. Then the, uh, this one's transparent. It's transparent, but it's got like a bit of an amethyst look to it. And some of it is like uh, light green. So it's like really light mix of those colors. I think if I put a white background, then you can have a proper look. They're very pretty. And uh, I think they will look really nice in jewelries. I I just love this color. I think I might buy this amethyst color as separate as well. Because I, uh, I really like to have that in my bracelets and stuff. Right. I also got... Uh, these charms that you can actually put in bubble or beaded pens. I thought they were really cute, they like uh, copy pieces. And I think these are clay charms. Are they kind of like, no, they're like silicon rubber. So there's a green one, a cream one. Okay, we're gonna give it a name. This is my matcha. This is a uh, light white chocolate latte kind of a thing. This is dark chocolate. Uh, and this one, I don't know what's in there. <laughs> this one's strawberry milkshake. No, this one's raspberry milkshake and this one's strawberry milkshake. Actually, yeah. These are nice cute names, aren't they? Really cute kawaii uh, charms. So I had them in my basket for ages and I was thinking whether I should buy them or not. But then I thought I might as well because they are really cute and can be put to good use. Okay, the other set of charms that I bought was these ones. Actually, I don't need to open them. You can look them from here. So these are also uh, charms. I think it's called Ferris wheel. Yeah, so that's the Ferris wheel charms and uh, It's the same concept. You can put it at the, at the end of the beaded pen where you can make cool keychains out of them so that's it and uh, Then I bought this set of beads and these are just letter beads, but they're all colored So I thought they could go nicely with the white color ones as well like you can if you want to put like a pop of color into a whole white name, then you can just use ones. Uh, I got these beads and uh, they look really nice uh, in the pictures, but I'm a bit disappointed. Um, I didn't really like the, this color, but they are quite heavy. I mean, probably this is what I was going to get anyway, but they uh, they looked a lot nicer in the in the description. So these are frosted glass star printed beads, I think, or something like that. And that's also for jewelry making or for keychains and things like that. I might just put these in here. So that they don't go everywhere. You see, so th this is solely for this purpose that uh, the beads can be put into one place. have to be very careful because of the little ones because he likes to hold small round things he doesn't put them in his mouth anymore but 
it's only three and things can change at any time. Okay. Then uh, I also got this set of blue colored beads and these are called aquamarines. They're quite heavy actually. Uh, they're like marble beads. The color is quite pretty. This is aquamarine color. And uh, it's quite heavy. Glass beads I think they are. But I quite like having things like that. Okay. I also got these charms. So these are uh, doctor's stethoscope. Stethoscope with a heart. So I thought for people with medicine that would be something nice. I got a set of small beads in amethyst. I think it hasn't got the name. It's, these are six millimeter ones. And actually they are quite... Uh, quite popular because they are actually selling out really quickly every time they come on the web, on the page they are get taken quite quickly so it must be good i think it just it just adds the weight adds to the jewelry the, the quality of the jewelry if it's a really light plastic bead it's not gonna work very much but if you have a nice weighing pearl or beads in there it's definitely it, it's gonna have more value to it okay these are just some charms but these are letter charms so I think it's all the letters of the alphabet so these are nice if somebody wants something personalized then you can just add that make that into like a small charm and put that at the end instead of like a tassel or a small bead you can put like the initials and uh, make a really beautiful charm with that okay so far i'm quite impressed with the, all of the quality of all the things i'm really happy this the storage box might be just something that it doesn't really look very like a hardy plastic but it still is i think it's gonna do the job because it's just there to hold beads, so you don't really need to expect too much of out of it. Okay, so I, I bought these charms because they were really cute. And uh, I think they're all different. They're different gold charms. So I'll try to separate them. And then we can have a look. So some of them are like all in one gold color some of them have like a bit of color added to it these are cute for having it as <clears throat> gloves <clears throat> and uh, starfish for all the sea lovers and this one is a really cute smiley sun face it says made with a smile really nice seashell feathers gloves Okay, things like that. Another thing I got was this color thread thread for jewelry making. So this one's color number three. And I think this is also elasticated. I haven't opened it yet. As you can see, it's a bit cracked here. The reel is, but never mind. Not the reel you're looking for. It's basically the thread. Oh no, it's uh, it's actually just the cord. Oh, that's really good because I was actually looking for something like this to make some maybe neck pieces or uh, just phone charms. So I'll see how I can use it. Right, I got this really cute 
stationary item it's called the decoration tape so this is how it comes it's quite well packaged but basically it's like a correction tape but it's instead of just giving like a white line it actually gives like a pattern so it's a really kitty thing and the pattern is like a sticky like a sticker kind of a, 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 like it comes like a sticker I don't really want to waste too much so let me just find a piece of card that I can use later on for my card making so I was thinking of making some kind of so say this is a card I think this is four by six so let's make it four by four let me just give it a quick cut then I'll come back to you Now it's four by four and what we can do is we can just start putting some lines oh wow it's cute so you do this and then you just start and I think yeah this this is the so this is the front bit the one on the top and this is the bottom bit and I don't know what this star does I don't think it does anything so oh, almost so you can make like lines Hmm, for some odd reason it's not really coming nicely so you can actually let's just practice on this hmm. that's better It almost finished. So yeah, it was not very expensive, but this is how it comes up as. So then you can just put your own. So this is the pattern that you can create. Maybe we can try now on the other side. Now that we have practiced a couple of times what I wanted to do so it kind of uh, gives like a uh, like a rub-on rub -on effect and I think you can actually once you've done that you can actually straighten the pattern like this with your hand This is what I was trying to do, like make a crisscross pattern. And then I will later on use this card uh, as a panel in my card. Yeah. Cute. I love it. It's a really cute thing. I might, I might get a few more designs next time when I go, um, when I visit Timo. Oh, that's really cute <laughs> look at that you can literally put like uh, small stamps in there and put like a sentiment and then boom your cards done 
the more you can do is you can just uh, gosh just lightly color the edges and uh, ink ink up the edges and then that's it and then this is how it re it's a retractable one so it goes in and comes out it's really cute really cute i think i'm going to be making a few more items with this okay Oops, sorry. disaster there. okay next item which is not really a craft tool but something that you need in your craft or anywhere in the house really is this handy dandy uh, screwdriver set so this is a really small screwdriver and basically you open the bag and it has all these parts so it's got philip in a few sizes sizes are actually written really small in there so this is mainly for small items so i actually have it to put by the sewing machine so sometimes you know when you have to tighten the sewing machine or you have to loosen something a screws in there then instead of going all the way out of the sewing room and looking for something you can just go there and use it and you just put them in here and you can uh, use it as a screwdriver so it's like a pen screwdriver very handy nice it's quite sturdy quite heavy so it's a really good quality it seems to be a good quality okay tidy of time Okay, last but not but not the least, this is the DIY jewelry making gifts or a gift box. So very well packaged. Comes with an instruction as to how you need to use it, or if you want to use it like, like this. And it comes with all these shades of clay beads, which is really cool. So these are blue, and then two-tone blue and purple so these are all blue and purple shades these are orange reds and browns and again two tones so there's two-tone line two-tone orange this doesn't look like brown and then it's orange again then there's pinks and purples and in that you also have black and these this is more like tutti fruity color and then you have the green so it's got basically four boxes and each box contains two, three, four, 24 24 colors so that's quite a lot of clay beads then it also comes with findings well, let's open them up and see if there's any difference So it comes with uh, jump rings, lobster clasps, uh, clasps, and I think these are crimp uh, crimp caps. I think they are called. So there's crimp caps, lo lobster clasps, and jump rings. So that's really nice, and they're all in gold. So if if you want to make silver, then you have to get your own silver bindings. But this one comes with gold. So there's like gold stars and gold squares there's some circles and some funky shelly beads it also comes with two sets of cords it doesn't specify as to how to take the cords out but these are elastic cords yeah they are quite elastic so you can make mm, quite a few bracelets out of these and also it comes with a really small cute scissors so i've got two scissors now looks like they are were packed in the same kind of vicinity <laughs> uh, it also comes with char so this is quite a big kit actually and uh, i think it was quite well priced i think it was under 15 if i am not mistaken i would definitely be given the prices but if you look at it 
These are really nice. Beads and charms and everything. There you go. So it has all the charms and beads and whatnot. Quite nicely, well put together kit. So we can just put these back. We can put these back now and uh, I'll make some beads, uh, bracelets and the phone charms and then I'll share them with you. Okay, so this is the end of my haul and I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. I will definitely be making and sharing some products with you in future and until then, until next time, look after yourself and your community. Give this uh, video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.